going to make a video about growing up in a super church next. Mega church, I suppose, is the term. I don't know where super church came from. But uh, one of the most memorable things is that people don't drive any differently after a church service than they do the rest of the week. I always thought that was really funny. They're still just as mean. It's true. Also, I don't remember this because I was too young to notice and I didn't drive at the time, but we, we went to this church for uh, like a good amount of my growing up years and apparently for the majority of that there was no exit here. You had to exit either uh, north or south of here and then drive local roads to get there. Interquest is new. So that's interesting. I remember there being nothing on Interquest when it was first like open. It's probably year 2000 or so. But but I don't remember it not existing. That's strange. That might be why I was so confused when I got my license about how many exits there were between Colorado Springs and Monument. I never realized they just added one in the middle of my childhood. Anyway, now it's home to like a good amount of cool things. There's a movie theater. Uh, water park just opened. That big tall building is a water park. There's an inn. There are a couple banks. It's a place where you can actually like do stuff now as opposed to just a random exit in the middle of nowhere. Interquest. And over there is the main event, Pro probably the reason the exit was built, but not officially the reason. It's called New Life Church and it's a big pyramid-ish looking thing. I think someone is just building a house over there. That's strange. Like right across the street from the church. I mean, I guess it'd be a great place for the pastor to live. Oh look, there are people going to Christmas Eve service. Didn't even think about that. Cool. They need a big parking lot for this church because it seats 14,000 people. Uh, and everyone comes in cars, individually. <laughs> this is a really interesting place to grow up as a, as a, like, as a home church. Um, it was the center of national, international scandal several times before I was 18. Uh, the pastor, Ted Haggard, had a like, you know, typical falling from grace moment that happened when I was in the freshman, my freshman year of high school. And then a uh, shooting happened here a year or two later that uh, I was not like actually here for, but most of my friends were. And it was very strange and conflicting. Uh, and I suppose important for my own uh, like worldview sort of experience. Okay, can you not talk then? And that's what it looks like. So this square building here used to be the main building of the church. And they built the pyramid. They also built a Hershey's Kiss, which is where the student services were. We would go in, but you know, it's kind of busy right now. So maybe, maybe not. But because it's a mega church, instead of going in, we can watch the live stream. Look, there are only two minutes left until service starts. One of the uh, biggest things I remember as like, notable part of going to New Life Church, especially going to a Christian school for high school, uh, is that everyone who went to any other church in town had this like super negative opinion about New Life. And I always thought that was really interesting, that everyone is so incredibly critical of each other's churches. Uh, that is that is mostly what I remember about being a New Lifer, is being like uh, subtly made fun of in every way by every other church that I went to uh, while I was here in the Springs. Um, I really, really enjoyed the youth services and stuff that they put on. Like, it was a great way to hang out with friends as a young person growing up here, and that was honestly like the majority of what there was to do <laughs> as well. So, that's probably my favorite part of having grown up in New Life, is there was so much cool stuff going on. There were always like camps and uh, weekly services and that sort of thing that were just for like people in my age group. They have a lot of different because there are so many people who go. They have a lot of different, like, kinds of services for different sorts of people. So that's my favorite part of it. Okay, typical worship music stuff, cool. Ooh, they're talking about Zechariah, ooh. It's a strange thing to have a Christmas service about. Also, I can only take screenshots of the live broadcast. I can't record it, but you get the idea. It's a big church, they have a live stream. It's cool. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.